I can't quite believe my rugby journey so far. In early 2021, I was playing under 20s footy. Fast forward 12 months and I've played for Taranaki, the Chiefs and the All Blacks. It was my dream to play pro rugby. Now here I am, ready to work even harder. Palmer, the prop, all of a sudden this is Lord, Josh Lord. He's got players to burn, flips it off the back. This is a beauty. And Josh Bartlett says I'll have one as well. I grew up playing in the backs. It wasn't until high school I got chucked in the forwards and I haven't really been able to get out of it since then. Look at this offload behind the back. Oh, beautiful stuff. I think I'd describe myself as a footy player, probably just someone who does the basics well. He nails the job for the team and pretty keen to, I guess, become a ball playing lock. Obviously keen to get out of the scrums and line outs and that. In terms of our lock, I think it's pretty, it's pretty hard to go past Brody and what Sam Wallach have been able to do for the last 10 or so years. Brody, he's pretty phenomenal, really. Obviously, he's a bit of a ball-playing lock as well. You've seen in the Highlanders game, he chucked out some bloody Resley thing. Here is Retallick. Oh, oh, pass. A beautiful pass. Brody Retallick, all class. I'm trying to take a few little things from Brody and add that to my game, but I guess at the end of the day, I'm pretty keen just to become Josh Lord. Just 20 years of age, Josh Lord. And what a rise it has been. Yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster last year. I'm probably um, that five weeks with Taranaki was pretty um, it was pretty special. And then obviously getting the phone call from Shandy that I'd be heading overseas with ABs was um, yeah, it's pretty special too. How about this tackle here, Josh Lord? It's all happened pretty quickly. It's definitely happened a lot quickly than I thought of, and I guess everyone else has thought of as well. I guess I'm pretty pretty grateful to be in this position. And getting out on the field, you know, you've got 23 of your best mates out there playing footy and trying to win a game for 80 minutes, which is uh, yeah, pretty lucky, really. Very, very cool. Very nice story there with Josh Lord and great to have you back here at FMG Stadium Waikato. Well, he had a massive season last year being called into the All Blacks, but we've got Anton Leonard Brown here. He's talking about running around with his 23 best mates, of course. Um, what was he like when he first came in and how much has he grown over the last year? Yeah, he, he's grown massively and I remember, well, you can't miss him. When I first went to training, he's that tall, you literally can't miss him, but I always knew he was going to be something special. I walked away from from the first training thinking this kid's got a high skill set, he's got a massive work rate and he's got the key attribute and a lock and that's the height. So, um, you know, over the last year he's grown massively but he's still got so much more growth in him. Well, I'm sure the coach of the Chiefs, Peyton McMillan, is so happy that he's got him on his side. He's joined right now by Ian Smith. Well, Clayton, first of all, uh, no late changes. Baby's come, everything's good? Yeah. Yeah, no, baby's arrived so we can all relax and... Sam can get out there and play a good one for his new young fella. And uh, obviously it's, it's been a pretty successful little sojourn to Australia. What work have you been putting in this week? Yeah, it was good. You know, on reflection, um, we didn't play perfect rugby, but it was good to grind out some wins in challenging circumstances. And that's given us good springboard into, into this game. We like playing at home. Um, we've tied up a couple of areas of our game, specifically around, you know, when teams kick a lot against us. Um, want to be a little bit more organised and decisive in our actions there, so hopefully you see that tonight. Well, the Brumbies, of course, are uh, high-flying. They're playing some uh, some pretty good rugby. So uh, what is it about them that you have to be wary of in particular? Um, well, they're a lot like us, we think. Um, they, they're pretty direct, like to win the collision. Um, they'll go to the contestables, mm. try and get the ball back, and then once they get in the playground, start playing. So, uh, look, they're a, they're a quality side. They deserve to be with our on at the table, and... Um, this is going to be a good challenge. It'll be fast tonight, nice conditions. Yeah, a little bit dewy. Um, so, you know, handling is going to be um, key. Don't want to turn the ball over too much against the side, but um, yeah, beautiful conditions overhead. So, hopefully, good entertaining rugby. All the best, mate. Enjoy. Thank you. Well, entertaining rugby we're about to see on the field, but we've had entertainment from these two as well. This is where we expect you to shine. We've put this in on purpose. The Chiefs midfield, Quinn Tapia back to his natural position in the midfield with Alex Nankville. What do these two offer as a combination, Charles? Oh, first and foremost, I, I want to touch on um, Alex Nankville and, and what a stellar season he's been having. I know that he's been doing some work with the professor himself, uh, Wayne Smith, and 
Yeah, the, the way he's been playing, whatever position he's been put in has been unreal. The amount of touches he's had on the ball, really good. And, and Quintu Paya, um, obviously he's back in his favoured number 12 jersey tonight. So I, I think he's going to look to really want to secure that spot heading into the, the business end of the season. You play with these two guys, you must be able to give us some amazing insights into them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you think of that midfield combo, you think X Factor. Yeah. Um, and and guys that have been around for a while now, um, and I'm, I'm stoked to see Quinn pop back into that 12 jersey, but take nothing away from what Ramek has done over the last couple of weeks. But I think going into the finals or going into the business, business end of the season, as Chelsea said, this is the combo we need to, we need to thrive and we need to start working on. Um, so they're going to play a massive part in this game tonight and I can't wait to see that. It is so exciting. We're going to get these two's picks coming up right after this. But first a week, TAB odds update. Well, if you like a punter, if you're new to the game, here is everything you need to know. The TAB have given the Chiefs a 70% chance of winning this one. That is their calculations. If you want a bit of a punt and you're looking at the head-to-head -head market and you like the underdogs, well, there's good value on the Brumbies. One to 12, four dollars fifty. Thirteen plus at ten dollars. But these two, being Chiefs fans, you're looking at that two dollars sixty mark. The one to twelve. Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for the Brumbies and I know how tough this game's going to be tonight. So for me, 1-12. to 12. Well, there you go. You've heard it from Anton Leonard-Brown. And if you're new, we've got a sign-up offer for you right now. Deposit $10, get $50 back as bonus bets. Uh, visit the tab.co.nz for all the terms and conditions, details. R18, do gamble responsibly. Right, Chelsea, we're so close to the game. How will the Chiefs win this one? What is the key thing, one key thing? I think uh, we touched on the Gillette head-to-head. -head. Um, it's going to come down to the tens and how they control the game, how they win the space, they win the halfway, get their team in the best position. So I think, yeah, it'll come down to them. It's been great to have you on, Anton. We'll get more of you at halftime as well. But there's been so many great battles between these two teams. Who could forget 2013? A young Sam Kane sat on the bench for the Chiefs in the grand final. Scott Seo and Nick White were the sole survivors from the Brumbies. And if that's anything to go by, we're in for a treat tonight. Beautifully snapped up by Lilia Fano. He's got a chance to go all the way. And he does so. Besser wants to get his hands on it. Oh, he goes on his own. Lilia Besser. Ruben sends the pass off. And here goes Robinson. Robbie Robinson. And the Chiefs go back to back. Nine years ago, the Brumbies came up just short here against the Chiefs in the Super Rugby Final of 2013. Tonight, they return in fine form, looking to repeat that feat at FMG Stadium as they look to keep pace with the Blues at the top of the table. Kia ora koutou koutou, mai mai haere mai ki kiri kiri roa. As round 12 continues, Jeff McTage in commentary, Ian Smith sideline, alongside the 81 Test All Black, Justin Marshall. Good evening to you, Jeff. Welcome in, everybody. No mai haere mai te whanau. Kia ora. Top four. Blockbuster clash, plenty to look forward to. What both sides deliver us tonight should be entertainment for sure. Well, there's only a few changes to the starting 15 too. Both picked up wins last week. A big battle up front tonight as uh, Bay of Plenty captain Aidan Ross packs down against the powerful Sefo Kotai. An All Black and a Wallaby in the number two jumpers in the form of Samasoni Tokiaho and Philo Fanga'a. While Test veteran James Slipper and Angus Tauval go head to head on the other side of the scrum. The impressive Josh Lord at four opposite another Wallaby in Darcy Swain. Tupo Va'i continues to shine bright in the tight five for the Chiefs. Caden Neville locks the scrum for the Brumbies. World class in both loose trios. Luke Jacobson at six. Rob Valentini on the blind side for the visitors. Sam Kane returns to the number seven jersey in the only change to the pack tonight. His opposite, the man who attended Hamilton Boys High School, Jerome Brown. And powerful, destructive number eights, both sides, in Peter Gasoa Kula and Pete Samu. Classic old bull versus young bull at halfback, Cortez Ratama and Nick White. Bryn Gatlin controls the game from first five. Noah Lola Seol pulls the strings opposite. Elusive and quick on the left wing, Nano Satoru, wannabe flyer Tom Wright in 14. Good physical clash at second five with powerful runners Quintu Paya and Ire Simone. Alex Nankerville in sensational form at the moment. Len Ekitao, a real threat with space at centre. 
genuine finishing quality with Jonah Lowe in 14, Andy Muirhead more than capable of slicing open any defence, Caleb Trask in control at fullback, and Tom Banks with all his experience at the back for the Brumbies. OK, let's go to the sideline, Dean Smith for the reserves and match conditions. Sura katoa to Jeff and to you, Justin, to everyone at home. Well, the points table suggests that this is going to go down to the wire, which means the match winner may well come off the bench in the last quarter. Will it be Ramaka Puehepi, local lad, of course, uh, who has a big unit, or equally big, Ollie Sapsford for the Brumbies, a Hawks Bay player, tying his trade out of Canberra this time around. Maybe one of those, those two players will have the final say. In perfect conditions, I have to say. We could not ask for better. There's a decent sort of crowd building up here with a great atmosphere. But overall, it's just win free. There's a little bit of due perhaps a little bit later on in the evening. Uh, we've talked about that with uh, Clayton McMillan. But at the moment, it's uh, all about the Chiefs at home trying to stop the Brumbies' march towards a top two position. And this fellow today, who's already had a special day. Kapo Smithy, yes. Sam Kane and his wife Harry on Wednesday. Welcome Hudson George Kane to the family. Their newborn, congratulations to Sam Harriet and the rest of the family. A warm ovation for the Chiefs. Fourth place at the moment, a chance to move to third on the table. Victory over the Reds last week. This man wasn't there as he awaited the arrival of the newborn. But he's back tonight, he's back at work and he's back on the tools and a job to do against a formidable Brumbies loose trio. Great to have Sam Kane back leading the Chiefs tonight. <laughs> 10,000 tickets pre-sold for this one. An electric atmosphere at FMG Stadium in Hamilton. And they've come not only to see the Chiefs, they're in fine for themselves, but so too the Brumbies. Second on the table, behind the Blues. Six points adrift of Leon McDonald's side in second place. And in the context of the season, this is huge. Games to come next week against the Crusaders. And then the Blues to follow. But vital tonight to keep pace. Picking up points in Hamilton would be huge for the Brumbies. Well, Tom Wright has been one of the outstanding players in Super Rugby Pacific. The top try scorer with seven. He has the innate ability to break the line. A world-class finish tonight. The Wallabies central to the Brumbies' fortunes as they look to firm up their position and second on the table. Brendan Pickerel, Ben O'Keefe, Angus maybe his assistants, and Glenn Newman is the TMO. Peter Gassoakula will need a big night against the likes of Rob Valentini. An abrasive loose forwards in this Brumby side. Pete Samu, game number 50 tonight for the Brumbies, of course. 53 games for the Crusaders in Super Rugby. Josh Lord looks on. Nick White gets this blockbuster underway in Hamilton. And inside of the Chiefs 22 for Caleb Trask. Just his third appearance of the season at fullback for Trask tonight. Ratima, an early chance to use. It's been touched. But uh, the Brumbies were offside in the form of Darcy Swain. You've got to be behind the last feet. So a chance to make the exit. Bryn Gatlin had a superb week last week off of the tee, 100% against the Reds in Brisbane. And it will be a line-out just on the cheap side of halfway. Get here, guys. They're short, short, four! Three, plus! Three, plus! Three, plus! Three, plus! Tokiaho, and it goes, and up goes Tupo Vai, and the Chiefs. Peter Gassoa Kula. Valentini tries to stop him, so too Jerome Brown. That ball is there for the Chiefs, and Gatlin goes high. The contestable drifting toward halfway. In fact, it's gone into touch, so 
Early signs looking to put up the contestable in the air, the Chiefs. Part of their pattern, the Chiefs, they go to the okay. four man, so a cooler in the middle. They, they then, depending on the part of the field, either phase or go to the kick. That time it was the kick from Gatlin. He didn't get his execution right. Playing up and it goes, and it's untidy from the Brumbies. It's been superb this year. That set piece across the board, but the Chiefs off of the hook there. Ratima again for Soakula. Tackle, release, wipes. And Ratima again for Gatlin. Little kick over the top. Tupaya chasing through, but it's there for Ide Simone. So the Brumbies now. Two minutes into this one, a chance for some possession. And they'll get the penalty to boot. To be perfectly honest, I, I do understand territory in the game, and teams are sometimes reluctant to play in their own half. But I certainly There's do think here. the first two pieces of position that you get when you've got good ball, it's over the advantage line with a couple of good carries, whether kicking it away, speculative kicks, particularly the second one that we saw there with the 50-50 over the top was the right option for the Chiefs because now, subsequently, you're pity backing the opposition into the game. And also uh, the timing of it was wrong because uh, I believe Quinta Pia was uh, in front of the kick here when it was uh, made contact with. So that didn't help at, at all. It was just too deep to be contestable. So it's just a bit of a nervous start for Bryn Gatlin here. Well, their lineup was perfect last week against the Hurricanes, the Brumbies, and a chance early here to strike odds just over the back of Pete Samu. Can't reel it in. So again, another error at line out the Chiefs. Looking to range down the right here through Jonah Lowe. Advantage over. And Ratima, again this time Angus Ta'oval just outside of the 22. Ratima directing traffic. And so a cooler, another touch. That's a few in the opening three minutes of this game. Slow ruck ball for Ratima. And he'll put up the box kick himself. And down as far as Tom Banks. Oh, the Wallaby brings it forward. Just inside the Chiefs' half. In fact, the Chiefs win the penalty. That's a big turnover. The player was holding on, and Quintu Paya gets the pats on the back. It's over here. Well, much better kick. Cortez Ratima this time. The first one, he got charged down, but that was because someone was offside. But that's the hardest side for him to kick from, being a left footer. He has to kick back towards where the defence is and hook it over his right shoulder. He executed it perfectly, put it right basically on the touchline. Good follow-up chase over the ball, and they win a turnover, the Chiefs. Line-out problems for the Brumbies initially. Let's see if the Chiefs can get their first attacking one right. Samasoni Tokiaho has been in great form as well for the Chiefs and they do win the line out Ratima has it up the top he runs it to the line number some big bodies for the Brumbies Tokiaho will play half back for his fellow front rower Angus Tatava and just looking to go one off here and they do through the captain he's held up though ball is back to Ratima now it's Alex Nankiver what a season he's had the man in the number 13 jersey Kane waits. Little ball. Away to Tokiaho. Just looking for some consistency in phase here. Six of them for the Chiefs. To ground is Jacobson. Ratima. They load up down the right. Beautiful hands, but it's just gone to ground. Just goes to ground. So the Brumbies back in possession after six Chiefs phases. And Fanga. Last one. Use it. Yeah, the captain, White, puts it up. And kind of trust. Had plenty of time to size it up. And there's the kick from Atini Nanai Saturo. Nothing doing. So White, not the greatest pass in the world, but Banks. I know what sort of a boot he's got on him along the deck. Tom Banks. And it's awkward for Bryn Gatlin, but he does wonderfully well inside his 22. Back to his captain. And the Chiefs, oh, just goes to ground from Luke Jacobson. So the Brumbies look to launch inside. Pete Samu! Oh, good tackle low. Had to be made on the big number eight. Nick White's going to score!
He saw the opportunity, snapped it up, and the captain's over for the Brumbies. Uh, the Brumbies, with all their experience, it's been a messy start in general, and particularly from the Chiefs. And again, ironically, it's off an error that the Brumbies pounce on the ball. Wasn't a great kick, but they managed to scramble back through Gatlin. One too many offloads. Jacobson couldn't hold on to it. Tom Wright puts the accelerator to the floor. Brings in two to three defenders. Nice pass to Samu. They scramble well, the Chiefs, but you can see here it just pops out to the left as they try to gather it for Nick White. Strolls over. No winger there because Jonah Lowe had to make the tackle. The Brumbies strike first. Yeah, it may have been Tupu Vai who had the opportunity to cover the touchline, but he just drifted inside there and that left the wily old campaigner, and he will be strong tonight around the fringes. Nick White, the opportunity uh, to just cash in, and that is right, Justin, you're so right. The opportunity to clear the one too many passes under pressure that Jacobson couldn't hold, and there's a reason why the Brumbies sit just below top on this table, because they're very, very good at converting opportunities. You don't want to give them too many inside your 22. And Noah Lolesio to Andy Extras. No mistakes. Converts the try to Nick White. White's first of the season. And after all the early pressure, it's the Brumbies who lead the Chiefs seven points to nil. Andy Muir here for the Brumbies. He's met Quinto Bayer on defence. Now the Brumbies want to run it from inside of their own 22, and that can happen. Ball has been lost forward by Simone. And Alex Nankerville picks it up for the Chiefs. And now they've got a chance just outside the Brumbies 22. A knock on advantage here. Ratima. Angus Tabal out the back door. To Bovai. Tackle. Good one in the end by Pete Samu around the bootlaces. Uh, Gatlin took on the line himself, Bryn Gatlin. They try and blow through on the counter ruck here. The Brumbies have disrupted it nicely. And it is on their side, so good work defensively. No, Brendan Pickle. We've got a, Yeah, but your blue player here is also off his feet, okay? I can't play it, Chiefs going forward. Four blues also off his feet. Uh, Chiefs scrum here. A chance to see how these packs stack up. Smithy. It's just uh, looking at uh, the breakdown area, which is going to be crucial tonight. Just not enough strength and presence there from the Chiefs. Clear ball advantage to them initially and then just blown over the top by the Brumby. That's going to be a fantastic battle. A lot of experience in both those loose forward trios. Here we are. Let's go. Wasn't it a good counter up by the lot from the Brumbies? Darcy Swain started in that low position so hips nice and low and then he just drove up pumping his legs through the ruck so you know when you're on that angle you're not going to fall over on the opposite side of from where you started and create a penalty that your body's upright and they have to get underneath you to stop the movement he did really well there Sit. Sit. we go again but, yeah, there uh, is, but Jonah there's no Lowe's cover. In, yeah. There's no cover in behind Muirhead, so second. if they were to bounce a little late yeah, nine out to the right, up. the Chiefs, there's an opportunity yeah. just to grubber it in behind. There's a lot yeah. of space yeah. there. Tom Banks is way across on the other side, and that's simply because of where Jonah Lowe's position. And if he injects himself to the left as we're looking at it now, they'll have a massive numerical advantage. So the Brumbies have to have Tom Banks in frame now over there, and the space to the right Coach. if you get a good... Solid platform for Sowa Kula and Bind. Ratama is on the right. Sit. Stable for Cortez Ratima and the Chiefs. And they do go blind. No, open for Ratima. And here it is for Tupaya. Gets through the first tackle, gets the ball away. No, just can't hold on. That's a try. I think that's come off the Brumbies. I think you're right. Absolutely think you're right. Fair try, Nankable. What have you got? Whether or not it came off the white player or black yeah. player. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I've got on-field try, though. It's an on-field try yeah. for Brendan Pickerel, Alex Nankerville. Glenn, we've got an on-field try. We believe it was back by the Brumbies, but we just want to check that there wasn't a Chiefs hand there that's knocked it forward. Yep, so checking try, no try. Uh, yeah, check and try. So Glenn Newman with the decision. Alex Nankerville was pretty happy with it. Oh, well, two, he was gone. So two pie outstanding. He goes for the offload here, and I'm sure it's a Brumby's hand that stops it from getting to the hands of Nankerville. Which it is. Simone. And Nankerville in his rich vein of form, he's not going to butcher this, surely. I want to see one more angle just to confirm it. And it is a Brumby hand there. Nankerville's hand's nowhere near it. That's the angle. Brendan, That's the decisive yes. one. The ball has clearly come back from a Brumby's hand, so you can award the try. Okay, thank you. Sixth try of the season for Alex Nankerville. Pairing up once again in midfield with Quinn Thupaya. And the Chiefs set back in Hamilton. Awesome deception. Jonah Lowe bounced out. Nick White took off, you see, so they're short on the defensive line. But it's just power here. Through one tackle, fends off another, offload, skill set, Nankerville can't miss. Justin, was that set piece, uh, was that deliberate or was that just yes. instinct from Radama? Yeah, I think it was deliberate. They wanted to pull defenders across. Really well worked. No problems for Bryn Gatlin. So approaching 12 minutes at FMG. Seven apiece. Oh, Brumby's trying to contest, and they do have the ball through Pete Samu. So immediately back on the front foot in the Chiefs 22. Yeah, the Wallabies veteran, James Slipper, puts his head down. And Noah Lolesil, the inside ball. And then Ikito. In fact, it's Banks. Tries to put it back, but the ball has been turned over. Holding. And a big turnover for the Chiefs under pressure. The short option for the Chiefs and Jacobson. Again, here it is for Peter Gus Soakula. Try and get them over the advantage line. Again, the kick from Ratima. He's down as far as Tom Wright. Thought about the kick. He takes on the line instead, but he runs straight into Samasoni Tokiaho. Nick White. Holding wide, back wide in. four, oh, seven. Goes to the skies. Caleb Trust does well again, but he's hit hard. By the Brumbies, player coming through. Chiefs have it back through to Bovay on the 10 meter line in their territory. Again, so a cooler, the option to run it forward. Wait your time, I'll bring Gatlin's out his ball charge down. And here they come, Valentini, this looks familiar, he scores! Or has he lost it forward? I think he didn't get it. He reached out that left yeah, hand. Yeah, time off, we're gonna check. And honestly, the ball was doing everything okay. to elude him. Okay, Timo Glenn, we're just gonna check this. I believe it's played in by Brumbies and then grounded by Chiefs. But if you could just take a look at that. Well, shades piece. of last week against the Hurricanes. Rob Valentini. He was in for all money, but the ball didn't want to play the game he wanted to play. And at the really crucial time, Bryn Gatlin gets a hand on it. You'd say Valentini didn't even get a hand on it. I think that is a knock-on, Smithy. Well, that's an interesting one for me. I do think he does get his hand, his right hand on the ball. There's no doubt about that for me. And then right there, he's got contact. So it's a question of whether they deem it was a genuine knock on or whether Gatlin has intervened and battered it, battered it back just prior to the line. Big call this. 
but again, Gatland under pressure kicking Justin. Yep. Absolutely. He was out of the fight, to be fair, Bryn Gatlin, so he's done well to get himself back into the race to be there. Right, so, Brendan, yes. the, the uh, ball has been knocked on by the Brumbies player in the field of play. OK, so it's a knock on by the Brumbies in the field of play, so we have to play a five metre scrum here to the Chiefs. Correct. Yeah, thank you. OK, no try, it's a knock on by the Brumbies. We have to play a scrum. So, Rob Valentini. Well, let's have a look at it right through. He'll be taking a few big, deep ones. Will bring yet, Gatlin. Yet. Look how in far behind he is out of the race. But the ball didn't want to play the game for Valentini. It bounced away to his left. If it had just played the game and stayed with momentum, it would have been a short little toe ahead, and he won the, would have won the race by a mile. The fact that it deviated away, he had to change his footwork, his angle, and then eventually it got Bryn Gatlin back into the race. He did really well to scramble back. It's always that argument. Do you look to pick it up, Justin? Yeah. If you look to pick it up, he was pretty good with the left foot, actually. It was not kind to him, you're right. But do you pick it up that close? How greasy is it down there, Smithy? Is there just, a bit of juice? It's going to be a factor. It's going to be a factor. So had he had the ball, he would, I think momentum might have got him there. Defensive scrum for the Chiefs. Stable enough again. Here comes the weight from the Brumbies. And they win a big penalty. Well, 14 minutes in, 15 in at FMG, and that is a statement at set piece. Well, this is a big statement from this Brumbies front row. When you bear in mind, there is 240 games worth of experience. Uh, for the Brumbies, 120 odd tests sitting on the bench, and Scott Seal and Alan Alatoa. So that's why they celebrated that young front row. I tell you, that's a pretty bankable three that they've turned down as well. So there's real intent for them tonight, the Brumbies. They want more. And it goes, and therefore, more! Neville. Locked in at the boat with Palau Fanga. Trying to keep it moving forward, the Brumbies. One of their specialties. There it is, Fanga! He's over! Well, their line out attack is absolutely lethal. The Brumbies, that's why they back themselves in this zone. They got well set, incredibly well organised, and part of the catalyst for them being so very good in this zone is the patience, the composure, and also how dynamic he can be when he gets his opportunity in Falau Fainga'a. So you can see there, he's the general. He's got the ball well set now. Not massive momentum, but it starts to disintegrate, and as the Chiefs spoil around, he sniffs the opportunity, big and strong, too good. Well, two good set pieces, weren't they? Back-to-back -back set pieces on the same patch. They were just outstandingly executed. The reason why they celebrated the scrum was because they knew what yeah. would result from it. So the decision was absolutely not to bank the three and have a crack at the seven, possibly. It might well turn out to be that way. So similar angle for Noah Lolesio. <laughs> Lovely action, but just away to the left. Can't convert the try to Falau Fanga, but the Brumbies through their hooker have their second try of the night and it's 12 points to seven in Hamilton. Samu and full of work tonight. The former Crusader trying to get over the ball there. Pintupaya. Like 
Sends it up and drifting towards the halfway line. Caleb Trask has had a bit to do tonight. Can't reel that in. And the flag is up on this near touch, and it will be a Brumby's line out on halfway. Gap, gap here. Five. Four. Gap, guys. Six, six, six. Okay, Chiefs, this is the last time. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Here, over here. Guys, if you keep closing the gap, it'll be a free kick. Are they coming to Five, two, seven. Oh, and this time, the Brumbies, a clean line-out. Simone, uh, White, uh, big contact coming in. And the Brumbies again look to get something going. Down the left wing here, kick coming through. There's the chase. And Muir here. Tries to wrap him up. Ball is in touch, but Freeman Pickerel comes back. He was playing the offside advantage, and that'll yep. come. So, yep, offside. Maybe this time, Justin, he might have a crack at the post. I don't think so. I no. think there's a, a reason that he's gone back to that, and the Brumbies will be happy for him to go back. Nick White, the captain, is not saying Seven we'll offside. take it from here. We'll take a line out because they'll go for the likes of Banks to go Shot. real tight into that corner to prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were. I cool. just, it's so good. The, the line out <laughs> maul is so good that after just off the back of all that pressure and the try, I didn't think you would take the soft option of the three. Happy to be wrong. I think that's probably a bit of a relief to the Chiefs. All coming from Ben O'Keefe on this near touchline on that occasion. Man born in Auckland, Noah Lolesio. Nine test matches for the Wallabies. <laughs> 42, 43 metres out. For Lolesio. He's on target. Great kick. Noah Lolesio and 21 minutes gone. The Brumbies out to a 15 points to seven lead. Sami, the man who takes it inside the 22 for the Brumbies. Oh, Chiefs trying to apply a bit of pressure at ruck time. But therefore, Nick White, and again a carbon copy of what we saw a few minutes ago, and Caleb Trask this time does manage to collect it. And Atima. Goes for the kick option himself. Inside of the Brumbies 22. Ball is awkward. But, uh, they do manage to recover the Brumbies through Banks close to this near touch. No Very close in fact, but by Black in the air. Brendan Pickerel comes back and there was a knock on by the Chiefs. Clever little kick from Cortez Ratima. Found the space. He kicked it end over end, so purposely hit it on the end of the ball, so he would get those revolutions that sometimes you can get a really unpredictable bounce, which he did, and he nearly landed in his lap. Cortez Ratima. Yeah, unusual to see uh, Tom Banks there caught in two minds, really. No communication. But it's time now for the Chiefs to return serve on scrum time at scrum time. Beaten up badly on their own line. It's now time for them. It's here now to Chiefs assistant coach Nick White. Nick, what are you made of the early exchanges? Oh, coach. it's exactly what we expected. It would be, be pretty tight. Um, they've, they've brought a fair bit of uh, heat on us, these guys. So, um, yeah, we've just got to uh, stick tight and fight through it. And just when we get a chance to get down here like we did before and get some points. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thanks, mate.
And Sam out again. Turn the back for the Brumbies this Play time. Now. And out ball's being turned out over out here, I think. No by the Chiefs, no. Back with the go. Brumbies momentarily. Sam Kane had his hands on it. And will settle things down just outside the Brumbies 22. Not the greatest kick in the world by Nicky Pohl. He's not happy with it either. So the Chiefs, another prime attacking position here. We see that midfield combination again to Bayern Nackerville. They go to the front this time, Jacobson. And there's the flat pass. And Jonah Lowe takes contact just outside the Brumbies 22. They're up very quickly. Off of the line. Now Tokiaho. No loss. Players doing their best to roll, but it's still there for the Chiefs. And now Tokiaho. In fact, Peter Gus Soakula. Now Gatlin to buy it. Brumbies trying to win the ball back, but still there for low. Now Kane. Slipper tries to get over it, the veteran. Looking for the response here, the Chiefs. Driving inside the 22. Ratima has Vai waiting. Dupo Vai runs in to Pete Samu. So Akula once more. How many touches is that in the opening 24 minutes for the big eight? Ratima again. Gatlin away to Dupaya. Quinn Dupaya. Jeez, look dangerous. Couple of options down the blind for Ratima, but they go one off again, open through. Big Josh Lord. Again, Sola Kula, they've got a penalty advantage here. The Brumbies offside against Sefo Kotai. So Gatlin, away to Nanai Saturo. Hasn't seen too much action midway through this first half, but again for the Chiefs, what a lovely little ball from Ratima to Quinn Dubai. And Gatlin again gets a beautiful ball away. Jacobson oh. passes on. Cortez Ratima. Oh, oh, that was good. 15 phases. Patience. It was physical. The Brumbies line speed was good. But just when they looked like they were being stifled under penalty advantage, they generated some really good momentum. And some of that momentum started with Tokiaho in over the advantage line. Power, leg drive, out the back. Tupaya, footwork, brushes off Simone over the advantage line. They stayed patient. 14th phase is right there on the inside. And then a couple of steps again. You can see from Gatlin back on the inside to Jacobson. Beautiful little offload. And Ratima goes in. Isn't he playing with confidence? The little number nine. Outstanding, Justin. You talked about it in the team sheets. It's the old guy versus the young guy. And he's not taking a backward step. He's been so instrumental. And it was uh, pretty appropriate that he was the man to finish it. His understanding with uh, Tapaya has been very good with the little passes too. Well, Brent Gatlin's having quite the season too, running the cutter for the Chiefs, a part of the movement. A try last week, and he has his third of the season, Cortez Ratima. Something special, Justin. Certainly was, and it was the footwork of Gatlin. The ball in two hands initially. Knew his intent, which was to go hard at the line. He was always looking for that inside player, which was Jacobson. He brought two defenders in that put Jacobson through the hole. And then his timing, he knew Ratima would be there. He brought in that last defender, Banks, left the ball in the air, and the passer, which was Ratima, finished it off. McWhite with the restart. Now Josh Lord had his eyes on it, but couldn't control it. So the Brumbies again, White. Immediately have a chance, and Lulesio was met head on. Good contact on him by Tokiaho and Soakula. Little blindside play here, and an offside advantage for the Brumbies. And the banks up in the line, and they go through slipper. Now, White again, he tries to court his Ratama for the Brumbies, and they've still got an advantage here, so White can. Try and chance the arm, keep the ball moving, backs. And the Lord tries Nothing to hold him up, but... Offside here. Number one, offside. Another shot. 30 metres out if he wants it. Lolesio. 
not saying anything. <laughs> Shot a goal. Well, uh, Craig McMillan won't be happy at the moment with, yeah. after scoring points, the Chiefs are not securing their kickoffs. That also has to be given as a compliment to the Brumbies because the kicking from Lola Seal is very good. The chasing is equally as good and it's putting the Chiefs under pressure. That time it was Josh Lord earlier on. I'm not sure who the player was, but both times they've won the kickoff back, the Brumbies. So execution from both good Brumbies, poor Chiefs. They'll need to rectify it. Pretty much bang in front, 35 metres out. Strikes it sweetly. He likes it. And the Brumbies are the four point lead now. Half an hour gone in Hamilton. Well, 11 Wallabies in this Brumbies starting 15. Six in the back line. There's one of them. this time it's his boot to it and uh, the ball is out 10 meter line inside Brumby's territory the Chiefs will have the line out not happy uh, Tom Banks with uh, a little bit of late contact around the head area for a player coming through there so they're just getting a bit of attention and back play Brumby's appealing for something there shift shift and it goes and they do win it do the Chiefs not to play again? Been used plenty in midfield tonight. Ratima has Vai waiting. He runs into Darcy Swain. Oh, Catlin tried the little short pass and it's on the deck, but cleaned up by Jonah Lowe. Trying to swarm through on him as Lee Nicky Thal looking for the counter, but not coming for the Brumbies. Now, I think it's Tovo. It's a big fend on. Ratima. Again, has Tupo Vai waiting, but on. back in the pocket was Gatlin, and he sends this one high inside the Brumbies. 22, and the mark has been called Ten. by Andy Muirhead. Okay. And Muirhead takes play up to halfway. The man born in Brisbane, 28 years of age, consistent performer. Yeah, a few tries for the season. One of the many talents. Come in. Are you in fight? On the back line for the Brumbies tonight. Lord again, the target, and he does well to stick the left mid out and reel it in. Josh Lord. Jacobson waits, goes past him again to Tupaya. And they're on defence. Brown for the Brumbies. Now Aiden Ross. Good tackle on him. Falau Fanga'a. And Dratima. Now Chiefs again down. This right wing low loses it forward in contact. Now the Brumbies, and that'll come with that no advantage. So we'll come back and uh, we'll pack down for a scrum on the Brumbies team. Well balanced side, the Brumbies. The line speed is very good, but they're also physical. And it's not just physical in the contact zone. We've seen a couple of times a counter run, but it's also in the tackle where they look to hit hard come forward and are quite aggressive they've got a good balance between that skill set and the ball movement and nice and tough really seen them pull the trigger with the back line yet this is a good opportunity for that you're here in behind but Simone and Nicky Tal can be very dangerous. Can they find some space for them? Now, first job, more than done for the Brumbies. Pete Zamu dishes it up to Noah Lolesio, and over halfway they march. Seven minutes until half time here at FMG. He's still there for White. 
Now White gets a little short pass away and Peyton Neville can't find a supporting player, but the ball's gone backwards. Now the kick from White. And then behind the Chiefs. And it's going to go in goal for Caleb Truss. And he forces for a goal line dropout. Piece of ball carry from Lolasio. Oh, the Chiefs a bit cute off the line, but it is there for low. Getting on with it. They set that up to him up. Slams it downfield, and he makes a good touch too, up towards halfway. And that's what he needed to do. And that shows great experience, you know, on young shoulders, because they'd taken the quick, ta uh, quick drop kick out. No one was expecting it. Chiefs players were still making their way back. They had compromised defence, but they'd won the ball. It needed to go out where they could reset from the line out defensively. Did well to kick it into touch. Wanga up. Samu is the target. They come again, this time through Ira Simoni. Ball back for Lulisio. Chiefs coming up smartly on him. Bastard. Come on. Now White with the kick. And again, work to do this time for Bryn Gatlin. Just on his 22. And he does well and presents it back for Atima. Use it! He was out. Pass the last foot. And yeah, Atima oh, spins yeah. out of the tackle. It was high too. So the Chiefs will have a penalty inside of the 22. Here's a mark. Both sides everybody. searching for a bit of structure. 35 into this one. Sure there'll be plenty set by both Dan McKellar for the Brumbies. Clark McMillan at half time. He said, Smithy, the Brumbies can hurt you from anywhere on the park. Only need first phase rugby to do it. As, uh, Nick White receives a wee bit of attention. Hold the ball. Interesting point there, Justin. Uh, it's a new trait for halfbacks how they put players on the back and they form almost like a tunnel situation for the hook, the ball back with their feet to give them more opportunity and a little bit more depth in terms of their kicking option from the base of the scrum. But there was a classic case of it going horribly wrong. Yeah, it certainly is. So they, they're basically giving themselves a, a, a bit of space by stacking players one on top of the other. So it takes longer for a player to charge through and charge them down. But yes, it means when the ball's at the front and the place is at the front, they, and they're not allowed to reach in there with their hands to grab it, because the minute they do that, the defence can come around and tackle them. So they have to do this tedious raking tack of the ball with their foot. It's, a, it takes time, and B, sometimes can go long like it did for Ratima. <laughs> the target this time for Tokyaho. And coming around behind was... And there it is for Tokyaho. Now the Chiefs now again, Ratima, the little kick behind and over the top, and the mark is called... Well, for Lau Fainga'a, just trying to create something. Yeah. The little halfback having a good first half. Collapsing them all. It's good refereeing as well from Brendan Pickerel. Ratima was looking for a 50. 50 option, a, a, a fortuitous bounce. Um, Often the referees, around. when they see the ball kicked away on penalty, will call penalty advantage ball. over. But yeah, Pickerel recognised what Ratima was trying to do. He was just trying to be creative and get something miraculous out of the situation where he already had a penalty. So a chance here for the Chiefs now to strike. Still trying to get over the ball skills of Falau Fainga back there. It's the, the receiver. Amazing skills. Lord again takes it. The yeah, Chiefs would love to strike just before half time here. Take back the lead. Now, Vai, he's one man who can get you to the try line. 
The All Black lock forward now. Peter Gus saw a caller. Pete Samu tries to get over the ball. Jacobson runs into some staunch defence in the form of Slipper and Valentini. Ratima. Nancy Swain tried to put a shot on him. Now Tokiaho. The hooker carries forward himself. Samu over the ball. Pete Samu. That's still there for the Chiefs now. Angus Tavau. To Paya close. Here come the Chiefs. Ratima again. Kane is there for them, close to the line. Hold up! The yeah, ball's been held up. Might be Nankerville under the bottom of that. Yeah, I think it might be, Smithy, you're right. Yeah, it was the try scorer. Trying to get his seventh of the season, but it will be a goal line yeah. dropout. Well, they stood up, the Brumbies, because there was absolutely nothing spectacular about what the Chiefs were trying to do there. They just rolled up their sleeves and decided to go hard, man for man, one-off runners, and just bash themselves no at the Brumbies the line and Brumby defenders. Tupaya was going, Nankerville was going, Tokiaho no, went, Lord went, the whole lot of them had a dig, and the Brumbies held strong. I guess who it was, Nick White, the captain, a try tonight, already. To Let's go! For the 47 Test Wallaby. And he puts his body on the line again to hold up Alex Nankerville. Well, the Chiefs, as we tip towards the break, have another chance here. That Trask, a big shot coming from Brown on the fullback. Vai, out the back door for Gatlin. There it is, low little inside pass, Nankerville. And that's a good tackle, just slipper, around the slipper of uh, the midfielder. Him up again for Gatlin. There's the kick in midfield. The option once more for the Chiefs, but doesn't work out as Len Nikitao has it for the Brumbies. No, no. And, uh, I, oh. and, uh, you can see what Nick uh, White is saying here. Sends it back. Ball into touch. And that'll be half time at FMG Stadium in Hamilton. The Brumbies have come to play and they lead the Chiefs at half time 18 points to 14. My hooky mate, welcome back to FMG Stadium in Hamilton, where the Brumbies lead the home side, the Chiefs, 18 points to 14 at half time. Looking for their 10th win of the season, the Brumbies. Let's go sideline now. Smithy standing by with Chiefs assistant coach David Hill. Hey, what are the issues you've uh, talked about in there? Uh, definitely uh, exits and some restart receipts. So, um, been punished pretty severely by not uh, not nailing our detail on some of the exits and kickoffs. So um, that's one of the big ones at the moment. Yep, nail that and we should be good. When you get uh, ball in hand, uh, you, you are breaking tackles, which is good. Yeah, yeah, really happy with our attack. We've been in the first two uh, entries into 22, came home with tries, and um, just that got a third one as well. So comfortable with doing the right stuff on attack, but like I said, just tidying up a few things on the exits. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Well, the Brumbies good for the lead. They trail in the stats in possession and territory. 60 to 40 and 84 tackles plays 40 so the Brumbies stepping up on defense Laurie Fisher Brumbies assistant standing by with Smithy well Laurie uh, what have you talked about in there during the break look we talked about that we're, we're reasonably happy with where we are uh, our set piece has been good I think we feel we've defended well and we've played in the right area it's a challenge for us I think we're under pressure when, when Chiefs get a bit of uh, dominance through contact so carry dominance through contact so uh, we just got to get in front, stay in front, work hard in D, get them quickly on the ground, numbers on our feet, right, and then try and force turnover. Yes, mate, thank you for that. All the best. A four point ball game, and in the context of this season, a huge one too for the Brumbies and the Chiefs. The Brumbies looking to close the gap on the Blues, who put away the Rebels last night at Eden Park. And the Chiefs, a chance to jump to third tonight on the table with a win. No changes to the starting 15s for 
Dan McKellar and Clayton McMillan. You got Mick. He's been full value tonight so far, hasn't he? Nick White, the try, leading this team around the park. So you see this man, the new father, Sam Kane. He'd love a win to cap off the week. Bryn Gatlin gets the second 40 underway in Hamilton. Yeah. Samu straight into Kuntu Paya, the second 5'8", tries to hold him up. They're going to need a ground and gets it back for White. Last feet, four, yeah. But again, the high kick. And some work to do for Caleb Trask. He does well, but he's met by some staunch Brumbies defence driving the fullback back. Uh, Vai tries to step around. A tackle of slipper. Little short side play. Trask. Samasoni Tokiaho. Vainga makes the tackle on his opposite. Again, the Chiefs got to build into their work in this second 40. And uh, in fact, the Brumbies. The player was holding on, so they win a pressure relieving penalty. Well, I think there's a lot in the messaging that you heard in the interview at half time to Smithy because it was all about what we want to do is stay in the fight and stay in the fight at the breakdown. And the way that we do that is stay on our feet and make sure we so show clearly that we're on our feet, if not spread. At that time, they were clearly on their feet. Vai was looking to try and place the ball in over the ball and affected the turnover. So super quick. Bang, he just goes down. There's the defender. Straight on the ball. Jerome Brown creates an opportunity. They're lethal from line out, the Brumbies. 28 times they've scored from here. First in the comp. Samu takes it. Clean one. Valentini, Rob Valentini. Brent Gatlin does well to make the tackle. The contact front on as Vai tries to cling. Here now through Kopai. The Brumbies look to extend the lead early in the second half here. Right again for Valentini. Such a menace on the blind side for the Brumbies. Now Slipper. The Wallabies veteran. Six or seven metres out from the line. Valentini again, Kane goes in to make the tackle. Neville waits, but they go to Lolis Yule, runs into a bit of his own traffic, the first five, as Kane goes hunting for the ball. And White, it's like some staunch defence. Luke Jacobson has got himself offside here. So the Brumbies with a real chance to extend the lead now. Slip up. You've got it, you've got it. Right in front of the Chiefs post. White decides to go right here. The Brumbies dishing it up. They're going to score. Lena Kito. Just like that, three minutes in. And it's Lena Kito who scores it for the Brumbies. Lethal from this zone, from line out attack. There wasn't a lot of subtlety in it too much early on because they just showed power that was valentini straight off the line out well over the advantage line and then from there on in it was all just physical carry until the opportunity presented itself for tom wright and he executed perfectly accuracy wasn't it absolute accuracy in their execution there uh, the try scorer would be uh, ikatao on the back of the, the injection from tom wright but uh, the fact of the matter is right from the point when they got the penalty from the turnover justin they knew exactly what they wanted to do and it was pinpoint accuracy from this very, very clinical Brumby side. They look confident about pretty much everything they're doing. And isn't Valentini having a wow of a game? Yeah, he sure is, Smithy. Well, oh, Valentini, big part of that build-up for the Brumbies. And well, Tom Wright leads the try-scoring stats in Super Rugby Pacific. But a lovely assist there. Lenikito. <laughs> the FMG Stadium. 
full of noise, but he nails it. Great kick from Noah Lolesio. And he converts the third try of the season to Len Nikito. So we've got this paused on Tom Wright. Now watch how he brings two defenders in. Accelerates now as we roll it on. Two defenders are compromised, sets the space for Ikitao. Perfect. Again, yeah, contest in there, but he's done it well there. Darcy Swain. No pressure coming. He counter up for the Chiefs, but he's there for Pete Samu, who has a weak dab down the blind. Just a pinch a few more metres. Always so crucial. The first try after half time. Chiefs look to try and get back in it now. Nick White makes the kick and it's been lost forward by Trask. So again, the Brumbies right back on the front foot. Nidai Simone makes the kick along the deck and oh, it's been done well no by Etienne Nanai Saturo in the end. There's nothing there. Uh, Brennan Pickerel will come across the field. He was playing the advantage for the knock on. Let's go, guys. Come up here. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Part of Waikato and the Chiefs in the past. Spent some time at Kobe in Japan. A man out of Sacred Heart College. And packing down. Alongside Fainga'a, Slipper, and this impressive Brumby scrum. Really interesting the depth the Lola Seal from here. Ouch. Last time from a similar position in the first half, he Boy. just carried the ball hard off Samu. Samu bounced out and he just got way over Six. the ad line. Stable to work with for the Brumby. Samu off of the back for White. White running at the line. Here they come. Bangs, big tackle, big contact on the fullback. Nanai Saturo with a great tackle off of his wing. They'll load up one off here. Play on. And Paul is loose. Play on is the call. Oh, right in there. The mall has been called. The Chiefs do well. The strength of Josh Lord. It's not coming out of there. And the Chiefs do wonderfully well. Uh, started from set piece defense. They ran the variation this time. Lola Seal did start deep, but they used the two front runners and went to him out the back. And when the spot tackle needed to come in. It was executed perfectly. Subsequently, they had a slow ball. Nick White got an awful bit of service, and then it got into the hands of one of the Brumbies forwards, and they tied it up. Josh Lord over the top, and they affect a turnover the Chiefs. Really composed. Laurie Fisher down the counter at the moment. Well, why not? Bind! It's a healthy lead at the moment for the Brumbies. Yeah, so a call up off of the back. Good scrum for the Chiefs. And again, look at the go forward he gets. Peter Gus, so a call up. Now Jacobson tries to find it back to the halfback. And the ball has been lost and it's with the Brumbies. Just on their side of halfway. Now White for Jerome Brown, the open side flanker. Slipper offers a wee bit of support at the ruck for White. And uh, up it goes again. Familiar game plan for the Brumbies. Gatlin gets it back to Trask. And Valentini wraps up the fullback just on the Chiefs 22. And after my Thought about the pass, tried to find a way through now. Oh, well. One out. And over the ball there. Holding the Brumbies and Caden Neville, but still Holding with the Chiefs. Carried back. Holding black. Wide. Back the call, so there for Gatlin. On. No flat kick over to the left wing. There for Banks. Wait, wait. And Lillisio in midfield. Goes for the kick option again. He's had plenty of work to do tonight. Bring Gatlin and big contact coming through, driving through Neville. And Rattama cleans up for the Chiefs, now low. Big Finn tries to break through. And Jonah Lowe does wonderfully well. 
to get the Chiefs back on the front foot. Now Kane, Nankerville has an eye for the space. Bumps Brumby's players out of the way and will Alex Nankerville over halfway. Here they go again, Jacobson. This is more like it from the Chiefs. Oh, the ball is along the deck and just off the hook. Kothai pounces on it. And not quite again, will turn them around. And that is some result, some result for the Brumbies. We'll get the ball back, that's why it's such a great result. Slow it here. Okay. Change for the Chiefs, front row change. Ollie Norris uh, on in 17. Just slightly out of rhythm tonight, the Chiefs. Okay, let's go, guys. In one breath, they look like they are really fluid over the ad line, carrying well, breaking tackles, and then it all breaks down. There's a unnecessary pass or a pass along the ground or an error when they've really got the opposition scrambling backwards. And good teams like the Brumbies, when they get into this zone with a good line out, they'll hurt you for those mistakes. They go to the back, and Swain gets it. And again, here comes this driving ball from the Brumbies. Chiefs repelling it for the time being. Malatini plays it back for his halfback. Here they come. The Brumbies. Ikita looking for a second. Oh, just can't find a supporting player. As Sam Kane gladly snaps it up for the Chiefs. But there's an advantage here. Seven lost your feet on the ball. You yeah, know, the All Blacks captain just losing his footing. Sam, you lost your feet over the ball. Man, they go tough when they go. Nick White sends the delivery out to Simone. Short little ball to Iki Tao. He tried the miraculous offload out of the back of the hand. The Chiefs scrambled well, to be fair. Bryn Gatlin got back and made an important tackle. But a Accuracy at the breakdown That's from good. Sam Kane has yeah. forced his penalty. Good long pass too, Justin. About a 20-meter pass, which meant that they could attack midfield straight away. Xavier Rowe about to uh, enter for the Chiefs, it looks like, and uh, that big, powerful front row that I talked about earlier, with all that experience and Seal and Alan Alaalatoa are about to enter as well for two young guys who have done a pretty good job for them. James Slipper I'm paying a compliment there. Just be careful here, guys, if he hits the phone. So this to make it a 14-point lead for the Brumbies. No mistakes. Noah Lolesio. Yep, second one. And 12 minutes into the second half in Hamilton, it's the Brumbies, 28 points to 14 over the Chiefs. We just got some subs that have been Is that done? Okay, done. Are you ready? Now Gatlin again down to this left wing of the Brumbies, and Banks has it. The player again. The tackle on the fullback. Use it! And the change is coming for both sides. A trying game. High intensity as White makes the kick again. And again, Trask is up to task on this occasion. Just relentless pressure at ruck time, isn't it, from the Brumbies? Yeah, it's the new man, Rogue. Oh, I just can't find. Players in the chain and the ball is loose on the ground and it's there for Ikitao. And then Ikitao runs back in the Chiefs traffic. White is swamped. The player is the call. So Xavier Ray snaps it up and slams it downfield. Players chasing back. And again, the ball is still in play. So the Chiefs from inside of their half. And Trask. Makes a good kick. 
trying to find the 50 22. Wait, wait! And the force back will continue Holy through stop. banks. And uh, the ball is still in field for the Chiefs. And now it's Eteni Nanai Saturo. Chance to move his dancing feet. Find a way through. Maybe a row under a wee bit of pressure. And Gatlin just gets it away. And again, Jacobson places back. Advantage. Two. Two slow. He's got an advantage here. It's against Falau Fanga'a. And Xavier Rowe. And will come. We need roll. Two wide. So 14 in. This is a big penalty for the Chiefs. Trying to get some territory. Get down the right end of the park and get back into this game. Change coming for the Chiefs as well. Naitoa Akoi in 19. There was nothing wrong. Also 23 on for the Chiefs, Muni Narawa. And that's for Bryn Gatlin. Oh, there's one man who can spark the side into life, Muni Narawa. Another area where they've been really dangerous tonight is in the round, put to fire. The more they get the ball in his hands, he's been super dangerous all evening. And the defenders aren't coping with him. They need to go to that zone. Bay goes up, takes it for Rowe. Uh, Trask at first receiver. And they have a Clint Dupire again. Geez, metres after contact in midfield. How good have they been? Advantage and an upside advantage here for the Chiefs again. Nankerville to ground for Rowe. Now Tupu Vai out the back door. Trask, big deep pass to Bayer. Sizes up the defence, good to buy it. Uh, Brumbies making good on defence. Brown with the tackle. Now Trask, little short pass. Still no to They still have an advantage here. So Rowe looks for low. Now Pete Samu and uh, Ide Simone New make the tackle. Eight, Another advantage here. That one against Samu. Rowe tries to free the pass. Eight. So Pete Samu ping and a prime opportunity here for the Chiefs. Yeah. Not rolling away. This one. Yeah. We just keep the same when we get their A's on. Yeah. Okay. They're pushing, they're working hard. They've got good momentum there, the Chiefs. Again though, Xavier Rowe was a nice little mini break, and it's that pass all evening that's not quite been sticking for the Chiefs. I think it's a message to go down just to hold that one. The little speculative one that sometimes stick on the night, they're not tonight, so let's phase again, let's stay patient. The try they scored, they went 15 phases. They haven't done that for the rest of the game. This is the zone where they need to show the same off patience. The off, off the line, which is the line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good take. Peter Gassawakula! Cool That's the try they were after. And guess who gets it? The big man. What a season he's having. Oh, why not? Peter Kasowakula. All evening, he's been running hard. He's been busting tackles and getting over the advantage line. They worked it perfectly. Execution is bang on. The throw, the delivery, and the timing of the run. When he came around the tail of the line out, Sowakula, he was at full pace. Good luck. No one can stop this man yeah, when he's there. Spare a thought for Lolasio there as he saw the headgear coming around the corner and who owned it. He had absolutely no price stopping it. No price at all that close to the line. Well worked move, well thought of, but it was the culmination of a lot of pressure and uh, a lot more fluency about the Chiefs' play in those particular phases. Trust the kicker now. Kelly Trust makes it a seven point ball game at FMG. Peter Gussoakula, a try last week, his fourth of the season, and it's 28-21 in Hamilton. And a couple of changes for the Chiefs as well as we look at the replay again. Uh, Nick Frost on in 19, and Ryan Lonigan on in 21 for the Brumbies. 
it's a really clever way to bring Soa Kula into the game, but equally, why was there nobody there to tackle him and he was running at backs? Because they threw it to the back. So they threw it to the zone where the Brumbies Lucys couldn't bounce out because if they decided to drive there, they would have been vulnerable. So they had to stay there. So the delivery got him on the move perfectly. So what a 60 minutes for Nick White, the captain, Lonergan on. Oh, oh, Chiefs, they took the away. They're talking about big players, big moment players. The man with the ball under his left arm steps up through his side when they need it. They've got another advantage here. And a kind of trash that goes behind them. Let's we'll see what they can do here. Nankerville. And they're getting around big Rob Valentini and no the blind side swaps them, so and then Pickerel comes back. And a fascinating part of the game, Justin Marshall, 20 to go, seven point ball game. And just a slight little sense of a momentum shift, you'll probably feel that down there, Smithy, do you sideline where they were just stuttering a little bit, but I think they realised the desperation of the situation, the Chiefs, and they just seem to have gone up a gear. Maybe the subs have helped. Maybe they have a little bit. In fact, off the bench, they'll be buoyed for the... They won't be happy with that, though. That's just a complete waste. Holding? The best work, the Brumbies return fire. And, and in behind, Caleb Trask can't stop the bounce. And he sets off, makes the kick outside the 22. Straight down the centre of FMG. Now Banks... Wayne White! Puts up the high contestable. Okay, everyone out. Not much distance on it, but uh, oh, it is yeah. with Naitor Arkoy. He's done brilliantly there. The reserve lock forward. Now Rowe picks it up and has a wee snipe. Sam Kane, Soakula, oh. Arkoy. Great offload by the number eight as Rowe. Right at Trask, Tupaya. Brumby's asked to make a power of tackles. 118 so far in the game. Trask the cutout ball. Jacobson. Here they go. Etene Nanai Saturo. Tries to dart his way through. Row again. Akui, first receiver. No, you don't jump on him. Hart, don't milk it. Trask. Running back into traffic. Caleb Trask. Third appearance of the season for the Chiefs. That's Ollie Norris. Row, so Akula waits. Good tackle on him, fine gutter. That's Tokyaho. Emerson in Tokyaho. Row. The Chiefs building nicely here. A dozen phases as the crowd come to life. Looking to square things up at FMG Stadium. Nakaville shows it, takes on the line, and Pete Samu. Nani Saturo. Oh, he's a gymnast. He's done brilliantly well there, oh, but Brennan Pickerel awards the penalty, and the Chiefs looking to go bang bang after 13 phases. The words are ringing in my ears of a former coach of mine, Robbie Deans, when we used to talk hey, about go moves. Ten. Go ten. Same move. Why not? Why not do it again? They didn't defend it the first time. Can they defend it the second time? Everything else is all about execution. Okay, you're off the line here. All the stats in favour of the Chiefs. 60 percent possession territory, just over 50. All of the tackles made by the Brumbies. The Chiefs. Have an opportunity, five metres out here. Wai goes up. Taval has it. Therefore, Tokyaho, the ball is on the deck for Rowe. And Xavier Rowe, Trask. Tackle out. Alex Nakaville. Play on. And blow through on the counter right. Brilliantly done by the Brumbies. Another kick. Another one is under a wee bit of pressure. As, uh, again, they look to blow through. But the Chiefs do well to get back and set the back line. Vai waiting his way through, looking for the offload again. What a season for Tupu Vai, Akui, Trask, Nakaville. Cut out ball, Alex Nakaville, Narawa. Emoni Narawa's bundled in the touch. No ball still in play. 
And the Brumbies. Hit back possession. What a hectic passage of play. It's just for a forward pass. Oh, the Chiefs. Brumbies off the hook. Hottie. Last here. No. Coming up to 15 minutes to go at FMG Stadium. It's the seven point lead to the Brumbies. Another kick again. And low. Obstruction. Takes it, but there's it's obstruction. Yep. By the Chiefs. So the Brumbies. Not only off the hook inside there enough, they get a big Run penalty. I'm still scratching my head, to be perfectly honest. They, the Brumbies didn't compete at the line out. They were so effective with the peel off the back. With the Sola Kula try, they could have thrown to Pyre off him as well as another option with him peeling around the back. They went for the line out drive against the side that is so good in that zone and ended up coughing it up. Okay, send them oh, on. I just don't, can't get my head around that decision. Yeah, and then ultimately, Time's off here, the guys. ebb and flow of the game got them to this position. A bit of shepherding. Time's and now the Brumbies are in the same position the Chiefs were five minutes ago. Changes for both sides here. For uh, the Chiefs in particular, uh, you can see Atu Mowley running on there. That's the 50th time he's done that for the Chiefs. So a milestone game for Atu Mowley. Bradley Slater on as well. And uh, for Luke Jacobson. Uh, he's been replaced by Summer Penny Fino. Also on for the Brumbies, Rory Scott, in 22. Now the Brumbies, Eric Samu, Valentini off the line out. So destructive. Here they come again. Pete Samu's close. Lonigan for Ikitao. Dearly love to try and push it out for the Chiefs. Lonigan again, Ikitao. The Chiefs up to task on defence at the moment. But the Brumbies can set something here. Advantage. And they've got another advantage. Valentini. So Akula tries to make the tackle. Six metres out for Lonigan. Playing advantage. Simone puts the ball along the ground and not supporting body weight. Nothing will come of that for the Brumbies, but dead in front. Not supporting body weight first, and then on the Another ball. Another huge opportunity for McKellar's side. Shot a goal. Shot a goal. Well, three tests against England await the Wallabies in July and Dave Rennie with 15 Brumbies players involved in that camp on the Gold Coast last month. He'll be pleased with what he's been seeing from Dan McKellar's side, of course, the Waratahs last week. Really shaking things up in Super Rugby Pacific. What a win this would be tonight if the Brumbies are good enough to get there. Just one Australian side has won at FMG Stadium since April of 2013. And that was the Brumbies a couple of years ago. Handy for Lolesio, no problems. And the Brumbies once more extend the lead. It's a 10 point ball game, 13 to go in Hamilton. Man, they're ruthless in that zone, the Brumbies probably think just about every visit they've been down there they've come away with points really proficient when they're in that zone Trask again and Banks tries to split them down the blind but for Lonigan Use it! Get back. The kick close to the far touch. Narua does brilliantly well. Presents it back for Rona Norris. Really Norris, short side option. Fupaya met some staunch defence. Lonigan in there. Now ball to ground for the Chiefs. And just these small moments. The other area they've been pretty clinical too, Justin, is that uh, 
their exit has been better. Their, their box kicking has been far more accurate. Certainly has. Like Nick White's box kicking was pinpoint perfect. Like he wasn't kicking it contestable. He was kicking it so that when the receiver was getting it, he was getting a ball, uh, a chaser, and a tackler. So let's go. And had no real option. Often they hit that catcher quite hard and turned the ball over or made it difficult to get on the front foot. And equally, that one from Rory Scott was bang on the mark. No room to move for Narawa. Crouch! Bind! Sit! Down, no, down. You can't play that, it's dangerous. Yep. We're both down on the far side, we're resetting. We'll come over here. Don't forget, plenty of action coming your way on Sky Force Crusaders, 9.30 in Western Australia. And this should be an absolute cracker tomorrow. Running rugby, Sunday afternoon footy at Sky Stadium in Wellington. Fijian and Drua in town for the Hurricanes. Plenty of room to play here for the Brumbies. The Chiefs are presenting them with an opportunity to bounce out to the right. They've set a couple of players back for the kick strategy. This time stable footing there for Lonigan. He goes down the blind this time. The halfback makes the kick. He turns the Chiefs around. Coming across Nutawa to field it. He does, but Danny Muirhead was ranging up. Ten to go. And the Chiefs just out from their own line. They'll have to try and find a way back into the game. No. Touched. Rowe makes the kick. The Brumbies have touched that. And uh, now they get a chance through Banks. Tom Banks running at the line. And good work there by Naitoa Akoi to hang on to the fullback. Just inside the 22. There it is for Norris now. Get out of my way, he says, on Nick Frost. And another turnover by the Brumbies. That's brilliant work. Ball goes past Swain, but there for some money. Now his midfield partner, Ikitao, runs into row. Lost. Lonigan again. Just Out keeping it tight through. Seal. Scott Seal. Lonigan. Valentini. Rob Valentini gets the ball away beautifully. Billy Pollard might have done enough for the Brumbies. Really good. Bouncing out Rory Scott. The line from Valentini was absolutely superb, and he was at full pace. Pollard was off his shoulder. He drew the last defender really well, but they did it all on the on the gain line. So he bounces out Rory Scott. Valentini hits it at space, right at the precise moment in the hole. Draws the last of the defender, and Rory Scott runs over untouched. Yeah, brilliant. When they took uh, Nick White off, I thought uh, that might be an opportunity for the Chiefs to get back into the game. But the, the replacement around the fringes has been just as effective. The box kicking's been just as effective. And the, the offload there, the line offload, right, the pass was just superb. Valentini has been a terrific ball carrier all night, as, as well as the other work he's done around the park. Uh, and then Pollard just in support there. So clinical again, Justin. They must be batting 1,000 when they get inside the 22. Very clinical. And every player doing the job properly is a, was impressed with the work of Rory Scott and Valentini. It wasn't Rory Scott that scored, it was actually Billy Pollard, but just great support lines from everybody. And, and again, in the, the zone, the 22 zone, the Brumbies, they are so difficult to stop and have been really good at capitalising on every opportunity. Yeah, Lonigan's uh, introduction into the match has been very, very good as well. Uh, the bug kicked uh, successfully. They've got two more changes uh, to as well. Jeff, Tom Hooper is on and uh, jersey number, tw uh, number 20 for the Brumbies. And Ollie Sapswood in 23. Jen Smithy. I want an impact. The bench 
has been for Dan McKellar. Play on backwards. Oh, the call. So with the Brumbies and Seal frees it up beautifully. Samu in some space. Look at him go, Pete Samu Trask. A very good tackle on the bigger man, 22 metres out from the Chiefs line. Advice, really looking offside, to put this one away now, the Brumbies. Big wide pass away for Wright. Can he get eight? No, frees it up. And Sapsford, the man from Hawks Bay, is into touch but will come back. And it's against Artu Molly offside. The side. Offside. Number 18. Never back onside. 18. That's Molly. Puts his hand up. Super Rugby debut back in 2016 for the Fortier All Black. Well, this competition now really... Really coming alive in the last few weeks. The Brumbies tonight look to seal it here. The Crusaders next week, the Blues to follow. And that is a thing to behold. Pete Samu in motion. There goes Pollard and up goes Frost. And yeah, Lonergan, he swapped there by the Chiefs. And now Peter Garcia Kula. Both ways. He was, I think, just winding out of first gear. First by White, and then there was a second one by Black. Of course, without a number of players, no Brady Retallick, Josh Uane, Lachlan McConnell, Sean Stevenson, and Brad Webber to come back for the Chiefs. Is at the time of run into the playoffs. He's come up against a very, very good clinical Brumby side tonight. Very good defensively. Crouch! And really taking their chances off of turnover. Xavier Rowe. And the Chiefs will have to do something from inside of their 22. Nice to Tom Wright pulling it staunchly on defence. The pressure at the breakdown on the ruck tonight has been superb. And the Brumbies not only making a power of tackles, but putting so much pressure on this Chiefs side. Have to try and do things like that to get out. Trask does well. And Rowe now. And a Kane. And Kane trying to free up Narua. Now again, the Trask deep for Nackerville. And there's a kick from low. And the Brumbies just seem to have had an answer for everything the Chiefs are throwing at them tonight. Banks. And that is Sapsford. A yep. feature of Hawks Bay in a recent season in Bunnings NPC. Ollie Sapsford makes the clearance. And 22, uh, Ramaka Pui Hippi for 13. And that is Nankaval who has tried his heart out to go again tonight. Been pretty effective. No, it's on. Time on. He's certainly in a cold beverage. Alex Nankaval, that is for sure. Untidy. And the Chiefs. He's looking to finish with a bit of accuracy as Noah Lolesil loses it forward. So they do have an opportunity here. But I make a Puyipi stabs a little kick through. And going back and doing well there is the big man, Nick Frost. He takes it six or seven out from their line. And Lonergan makes the safety of touch just outside their 22. Did really well, Nick Frost. Kick through from Poyepi was a good one. He ended up just short of the line, but Frost getting back the big man. 18, quick out. spin. Powered his way forward. Cleared the situation well. One of those players that uh, will be coming back at some point. And Slater throws in. Over the back for Trask. And a row looking to play up tempo through Sammy Penny Fino. Advantage tackler. He's got an Not advantage rolling. here too, so 
Peter Gasso a cooler off to Akoi. Knock on there. Here's a mark right here. All right. Finau. Fuller running off with the bench. Sunny Pini Finau. Molly looking for one in his 50th. Row. Imoni Narua. They love one more. The Chiefs looking for a fourth. Akoi scores it. Well, the crowd come to life. Well, the Brumbies have been in the air of Brendan Pickerel. They just want to clear whether or not there was a, a knock on at one of the breakdowns. There's no knock on that we need to look at, is there? Base of the ruck. Hold the clock. There's no clear knock on, BP. It's okay, not try, clear. try stands. Thank you, guys. Time on. So they've made the decision on that. Akoi powers over. Caleb Trask is going to take it quickly. First try of the season. Naitor Akoi Trask does convert it. So in the final minute, a 10-point ball game. But of course, the Chiefs will search for a bonus point. Yeah, we'll hold the clock here, guys. Just the clock, please, come off. All so valuable come the end of the season. Well, there's still smiles on the faces, and why not? In it for large parts of the game. Okay. Time on! They will have the Rebels in Melbourne next week. As we said, a couple of big weeks coming up for the Brumbies and the Crusaders and Blues. And Ramika Puihepi as well to take that. Peter Gasol Kula out the back door again. Intricate play. Akoi for Narua. Oh, Hooper does his best to hang on. So too Darcy Swain. And the Chiefs did have one more up their sleeve. They have to do it from inside their 22 row. Yeah, Slater. Here he is. So Kula. Swain makes the tackle. Jonah Lowe stepping around the traffic. He does well, Lowe. Kane. Sam Kane runs into the big frame of Alan Ala Alatoa. Oh, Chiefs dearly love one more. They'd love the point, but they won't get it. The Brumbies come to Hamilton and they score a big win in Super Rugby Pacific. They cement their place in the top two, and tonight they've beaten the Chiefs 38 points to 28. A real statement from the Brumbies. They've built the foundation of their position on the ladder in Australia, their first visit to New Zealand, and a true test to see whether or not they are genuine title contenders. Could they come to Hamilton? A tough place to win and put away a very good Chiefs side who are also sitting in the top four. The answer to that, without shadow of a doubt, is yes. And yes, they are title contenders, and yes, they were impressive. So many players stood up. Oh, Lola Seal directed the show well for the Brumbies. Sam Kane, well, the Chiefs forwards, in it for parts, but in the end, the class of the Brumbies, forward pack, their decision-making, a kicking game. Just tonight, a cut above the Chiefs. And again, Peter Gasoa Kula had a storm up. At his best each and every occasion with ball in hand to get them game line. So hard to stop. But it sets up a fascinating narrative toward the end of this season. The Brumbies in scintillating form. Let's go now to Smithy. He's standing by with the victorious captain, Nick White. Thanks, Jeff. Well, Nick, that is uh, an outstanding display. It might uh, only look like 10 points on the board, but uh, it was far more clinical than that. Uh, look, yeah, we're, we're happy. Um, you know, we, we'd spoken about the intensity would have to go up. Um, 
We've had a couple of uh, good wins, but they're at home. It's very tough to come away and win. Um, and I thought the boys really, you know, really rolled up the sleeves tonight. Really proud of that effort. Um, you know, clinical, yeah, look, maybe we'll, we'll look at a few things. I don't think so, but I was, I was just proud of the, the, the mindset and the, the mentality to just, to just roll up sleeves and get it done because you know, they're an unbelievable side and, um, you know, you, you've got to have to go the distance. Uh, and you saw that there, like, they were throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the end. So, look, just very happy to, to get a win from uh, away from Mum. Certainly effective with ball in hand in the 22. A conversion rate of opportunities there was outstanding. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah, look, we're, like I said, it's a... It's a good win, an important one for us, but um, you know, it's just a, it's, it's another round game. Um, we know the, the challenge ahead. We're excited to get home, but we've got two very good teams coming up, and the Crusaders and the Blues. So, look, we'll we'll enjoy. We'll look at things there that we can improve on, but we know we've got to go up another level um, in order to, to to go a long way in this competition. Built around a very solid set piece. Uh, yeah, one very crucial strum early on in the piece. Got the momentum going there. Yeah, look, it's a cliche, but it all starts up front. Um, yeah, and that's rugby. So, look, playing behind the pack that we have is, <laughs> for me as a nine, it's a, it's a dream come true. And um, look, I know those boys, they're putting their bodies on the line. Like I said, we had the right mindset tonight. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy it now. But, um, you know, we're going to have to go back, recover, and, uh, and get ready to, to do it against two, two really good sides. But in looking forward to, to getting home to, to Canberra and, um, and throwing everything at those teams. And uh, look, lastly, I'll just say, uh, Happy Mother's Day to, to all the mums back home. Yeah, absolutely, uh, on both sides of the Tasman. Nick, uh, uh, one of the good things about the, what you illustrated tonight or two is depth. Uh, the, the bench were very effective. Yeah, we know uh, Kiwi sides, especially the Chiefs. I remember 13 here, the last 20 minutes being um, being a tough one. And, you know, Kiwis pride themselves on that last 20. So we've um, we've got really good depth that, um, back there, but we've also got a, a coach who's, who's throwing them on at the right times, and I think they're, they're, they're real finishers, real game changers at the moment in, in all the positions. So, look, we're proud of our bench. They've done a number the last three weeks, and we're going to need them um, going forward, because we're going to need, need a full squad um, mentality going through to, to go a long way in this competition. Outstanding. Banking the points tonight. Travel safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, they will travel back to Canberra. Full of confidence if they didn't have that already coming here tonight. Next week against the Crusaders will be one heck of a contest. Now, Kirsty Stanway's standing by with the losing skipper tonight, Sam Kane. Thanks very much, Jeff, and thanks so much for joining us, Sam. Uh, tough night at the office. The Brumbies were on from the very first minute, and it just wasn't the night for the Chiefs. How did you see it out there? Yeah, we got what we expected from the um, Brumbies. They've been uh, almost setting the benchmark in some ways throughout the whole comp. And, we knew we'd be in for a, a massive battle here tonight. And look, if we're brutally honest, like we just made too many handling errors. Um, some of those caused from, from pressure from the Brumbies, um, and some of them just poor skill set from us. But to turn over that much ball and give a quality side like the Brumbies so many attacking opportunities in our 22, um, you know, they were good enough to capitalise on a lot of those opportunities. And they just managed to keep the scoreboard ticking over. And to be fair, we were, we were always just chasing it. We were always that little bit behind. and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it sucks, quite frankly, because we haven't quite found the, the consistency that we're, we're really looking for to, um, to go all the way in this comp. And um, yeah, we've put ourselves under a wee bit of pressure by not fronting up well enough tonight. You talk about handling errors. The offloads were outstanding at times, but other times maybe you pushed it a wee bit. Do you call for calm uh, when you're out there? Yeah, look, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because it's um, uh, a real strength of our game and it can break games open, but um, equally, it can, it can put us under immense pressure and, and gift the ball. So we've got to be really smart with those and, and make good decisions. It was a sort of foggy, misty Hamilton night tonight, and there was a lot of dew. And um, yeah, a lot of our skill set stuff wasn't good enough. They put on a lot of pressure at the breakdown. It was, it was messy there. And um, their kicking game, I thought, was, was really good. They, um, a lot of their contestable kicks were good, and they, they pinned us in areas of the park. And when we tried to play a little bit too much inside our own half, um, they were good enough to either force an error or a penalty. Well, it wasn't your night tonight, but we have to say congratulations on becoming a father for the first time as well. How's that been for you this week? Yeah, obviously incredibly special. You can't really um, put it into words or someone can't explain what it's like until you go through it. So, um, yeah, it's been a memorable week um, on that front. Well, thank you so much, Sam. Yes, congratulations to Sam and his wife, Harriet. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers around Aotearoa. The Brumbies have come to town. They've done the business, and they're really starting to shake up Super Rugby Pacific. 38 points to 28. Stick around for all the analysis in Hamilton.